Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian and in this video we're gonna be talking about one of the best laptops in a budget under 600 US dollars, Lenovo IdeaPad 3 14 inch AMD edition. The link to this specific laptop is attached in the description box below and in this video we'll talk about its specs, memory upgrade options, battery life, gaming capabilities and so on. So ladies and gentlemen, sit back and enjoy. Alright, the laptop comes with a decent 14-inch IPS screen, so the view angles are pretty ok on this one. The resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels, which is a standard nowadays. But what I like about it is the above average screen brightness level. It's 300 nits and it is absolutely enough for any kind of work inside as well as outside in the shadow. Now, although it's pretty contrasty, it's not perfect for creative work like photo editing for example because of not excellent color accuracy at 62% sRGB gamut coverage. It is not awful by any means but definitely not enough for professional work. The bezels around the screen are very narrow which saves up on the overall size of the machine. They still manage to include a 720p webcam on top of the display and its quality is just fine for business or studying purposes. The weight of the laptop is acceptable, taking into account the screen size and entirely plastic body, which by the way looks like it's made of metal. It weighs only 1.4 kilograms and also it's kind of thin, 19 millimeters. Overall, this is the laptop that falls under the category travel friendly. It really is, and it slips into your backpack like it's nothing. The battery life of this laptop is around 7 to 8 hours in a very relaxed kind of usage. Watching movies on Netflix you can count on about 6 hours and gaming only up to 2.5 hours of work from a single charge max. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to especially underline the keyboard features. First of all, it's very comfortable to use, I like how the keys are placed and the tactile response is very clear and secondly, it's backlit, making it a great solution to work at night or any other dark environment. Overall, in my opinion, the main purposes this laptop was designed for are work with documents, studying, business, work from home or from cafe, doing researches, freelance, programming, personal needs, also it is a great suit for travels and on-the-go type of work, entertainment purposes, as well as light gaming in the evenings. And yes, this laptop is capable of running GTA 5 at medium settings at 60 frames per second, but before we talk about the in-game's performance, let's discuss the hardware, and trust me, it's important. The CPU we got is the latest generation 7nm AMD Ryzen 5 CPU, which is a monster at this price point. It has 6 cores and 12 threads, so multitasking is on a whole another level comparing to other machines at this budget. The base speed is at 2.1 GHz and the maximum is 4 solid GHz. These numbers are overwhelming for the price and I'll tell you even more. It has a fantastic integrated graphics chip which is AMD Radeon RX Vega 7 and it is absolutely capable of running games. Right now on your screen you can see the list of in-game FPS which I've tested personally on this laptop and I really hope it helps you. Also, I've spent about 20 hours installing and testing them, so I'd really appreciate your likes and comments. Anyways, the results are pretty impressive for the budget device, but you can easily make them even better. The thing is that the laptop comes with 8GB of RAM total, 4 of which is soldiered on the motherboard and another 4 gigs is a single DDR4 plank and it's replaceable. I would highly recommend to order an 8GB plank along with this laptop to upgrade it immediately and boost your gaming and work experience dramatically. I'll leave a link to a perfectly suitable RAM stick in the description box and a quick note. It doesn't support more than 12GB of random access memory total, so it only makes sense to upgrade with 8GB RAM stick. Talking about the internal storage, the laptop comes with 256GB NVMe SSD pre-installed and it's replaceable as well. Plus, there is also some room enough to install a 2.5 inch hard drive inside, so it's pretty flexible on storage, its upgrade limitations are way beyond anyone's needs. Now ladies and gentlemen, talking about the port selection, it is so versatile. It even includes a USB Type-C and SD card reader, making it convenient for photography work. It has no Ethernet RJ45 port for fast cable internet, but it supports extremely fast Wi-Fi 6, so the wireless connection is always stable and the speeds are crazy. Now let me tell you about its cons. First of all, at this price point and with this hardware, it's really hard to talk about its disadvantages. But if we forget about the price, I'd wish it had better speakers since these are just… well, they are muffled and have narrow frequency range. 
but they're totally fine to watch movies, create an atmosphere with some music and other casual usage. Secondly, I honestly don't like the design, especially this power button. And thirdly, because I work with graphics a lot, I'd love to see a slightly better screen here. But ladies and gentlemen, the laptop is currently at a huge discount, it's 90 bucks off, so if you're interested in this specific model, I'd highly recommend to click the link in the description box below, check the specs again and order it ASAP because it's worth the money for 100%. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the video, I really hope it was helpful for you, follow my channel for more reviews, check the description box for more useful info, and see you in the next video.